I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I cannot be defeated and I will not quit. Welcome to Rama Praise, a worldwide broadcast bringing hope, help, and healing for over 20 years from Kenneth Hagen Ministries and Rama Bible Church in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And now, here are your hosts, Pastors Kenneth and Lynette Hagen. Hello and welcome once again to Rama Praise. We are so glad that you have tuned in today. Honey, today you are talking about living above stress. Yep. You know, uh, stress, uh, it seems like that we live in a world that is very stressful. Oh, <laughs> we got stress all the time. I mean, there's all kinds of stress. And, uh, but the Word of God talks to us about dealing. In fact, David, uh, he dealt with a lot of stress. stress. Yes, he did. And he said that you must delight yourself in the Lord. That's right. <laughs> you, know? Um, you know, honey, uh, there is a scripture yeah. that I that I love, well, actually, it's a couple of scriptures that I, I love to read uh, because sometimes it seems like that women seem to get more stressful sometimes than men because uh, yeah. they keep on thinking and try to solve all the they issues. Try to solve the issues that can't be solved. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so and, you just accept it and go on. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think uh, uh, about Paul. I, I love to read uh, Paul's writings. Well, that's and, where that's where that's where the the Christian should live is in the Pauline epistles because he is the one that tells us how to live a a a, a faith filled a faith filled life a yes. stress filled life that's right. the good life and all of that that's why we need to read his read well, his writings. I, I want I want to read this. This is over in Philippians uh, four, starting with verse six and six and seven, uh, and this is in the Voice translation, and I like it. In this, it says, don't be anxious about things. And you know, stressful, you get, when yeah. you get stressed out, it's because you get anxious about right. things. It says, don't be anxious about things. Instead, pray. Pray about everything. And sometimes that's what we don't do. Yeah. We don't pray about it. It says, he longs to hear your requests. So talk to God uh, about your needs and be thankful uh, for what has come. And know, and when you do that, know that the peace of God, a peace that is beyond any and all of our human understanding will stand watch over your hearts and minds in Jesus, the anointed one. You know, just reading that just gives right. me peace. Just gives yeah. me peace. But live in stress free. You have to guard your thoughts. Yes. You see, that that's it's talking about uh, if if you keep your mind stayed on the Lord. Yes. It, you know, you'll have oh, peace. Oh yeah, you'll have peace. That's, that's right. But uh, we've got to depend on God and let Him take care of the battle, and we just rest in peace and that's confidence, right. believing what God has said. Yes. You know, it, think. God thoughts, I say it that way. Uh, don't be in fear. Don't be in worry. Yes. Just know God will take care of it. So why don't we go now where I'm talking about living above stress. I'm going to talk about a, something that all of us deal with continually. And uh, it's called stress. Living above, we can live above stress. We're all going to have it. All of us is going to have stress. Uh, back, this is a, this was several years old now, so I'm, I imagine it's a, it's a lot more than that, but it's, this report says from the American Psychological Association back in 2011, 44 percent, 44% report that their stress level has increased over the past five years. I bet it's increased over the last 20, what, 10, 12 years. I bet it's increased more than that now. But, uh, and I don't know whether these are, are up-to-date statistics or not, but what, what the deal I was reading from says 44, 43% of all adult, adults suffer adverse health effects from stress. 75 to 90% of all doctor's office visits are stress related. Stress plays a large part in our physical and mental area with headaches and high blood pressure and heart problems and arthritis, depression, anxiety and all of that. 
The <clears throat> Occupational Safety and Health Administration declares that stress costs the American industry more than $3 billion annually. Now, we all try to deal with stress. People try to deal with stress in the natural, and that is good and it's necessary. But uh, we as believers have something more that we can access, and that is the spirit side. You know, we need to do all we can do and know to do in the natural, but we need to incorporate the spiritual truths from the Word of God. We need both the natural and the spiritual, and of course, we're going to my saying, the natural and the supernatural coming together, making an explosive force for God, and that'll help us live above stress. Now, dealing with stress is talked about in the Bible. David says this in Psalms 119, 43. I'm going to read the New Living and the Message. Psalms 119, 143. Psalms 119, 143. As pressure and stress bear down on me, I find joy in your commands. Now, the message said, even though troubles come down on me hard, your commands give me delight. David here says that, he, that there is pressure and there is stress that bear down on him. If they were bearing down on, David, on King David, then I know we got them bearing down on us too. But he said that he found joy in your command, the commands of God. One way that he dealt with this is, and you can read it in his Psalms, is he delighted himself in the Word. He delighted himself in the Word. The number one thing that we've got to learn in dealing with stress is to delight ourselves in the Word of God. Now, the parable of the sower, Jesus talks about people who are like seeds planted in the thorns. Now, Mark 4, 18 and 19, Mark 4, 18 and 19, New King James says, Now, there are the, there are the ones, now are these are the ones sown among thorns. They are the ones who hear the word and the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the desires of other things enter to choke the word and it becomes unfruitful. Now, I really like the way the message says this. The seed casts into the weeds represents the one who hears the king, kingdom news but are overwhelmed by the worries about all of the things they have to do and all of the things they want to get. The, sur the stress, there's that word stress, strangles what they heard and nothing comes of it. Actually, this is saying that stress was nullified the word that the people heard. See, these stressed out people heard the word, but they didn't receive any benefit from it. You know, living a stressed out life is detrimental to our spiritual growth. Now, we need to learn how to live above stress. We all face it. Every one of us has stress. But he wants, God wants his people to live ab above that, not stressed out. He didn't say you wouldn't have it. He said you don't need to be stressed out. Come on. You know, some, some Christians, they have no peace of mind. They're full of fear and worry, and, and they're always talking about, oh, I'm just afraid of this is going to happen. I'm just afraid that's going to happen, you know. And if you run into these people, they'll tell you all the latest crisis that they've been dealing with. Anybody ever found any, seen anybody like that? You know, you know, you can't receive the best from God living a stressed out life. Look at Moses now. I want to, this is a little different, but I want to, I'm going to use this to show you something. In the contemporary English version of Exodus 18, 13, and I'm going to read uh, the, the whole discourse all the way through 23. The next morning, Moses sat down at the place where he decided legal cases for the people, and everyone crowded around him until evening. Jethro saw how much Moses had to do for the people, and he asked, why are you the only judge? 
Why don't you let, why do you let these people crowd around you from morning till evening? Moses says, because they come here to find out what God wants them to do. They bring their complaints to me and I make decisions based on God's laws. Jethro replied, that isn't the best way to do it. You and the people who come to you will soon be worn out. The job is too much for one person. You can't do it alone. God will help you if you'll follow my advice. You should be, you should be the one that speaks to God for the people and you should teach them God's laws and show them what they must, that they must do to live right. You will need to appoint some competent leaders who respect God and trustworthy and honest and then put them over groups of 50, 10, 50, and 100, and 1,000. These judges can handle the ordinary cases and bring the more difficult ones to you. Ha having them to share the load will make your work easier. Now, this is the way God wants it done. You won't be under nearly as much stress and everyone will turn home feeling satisfied. Now, you got to realize that the, they did not have, the, the children of Israel didn't have the Spirit of God. Only Moses and Aaron were the ones that were anointed, and that's why he would have to go to God. Now, here he's trying to do more than one person can do. He's overworked. He's trying to help everybody with their problems. And Jethro, his father-in-law, saw this, and he shared this with Mo Moses. Now, I want to turn this to you guys and myself. Sometimes the way we're handling our work will cause us more stress than necessary. We try to do everything ourselves instead of getting help or delegating something to somebody else. Hello. You ever seen somebody that they, they're actually sort of the, they're the boss, but they're doing, every, they're doing all the work. In fact, I had a person tell me one time, oh, it's just, easy. I'm not going to tell them, it's just easier for me to go do it myself. <laughs> you know, many, 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 many years ago, we were having camp meeting and it, we had moved, we did the first two camp meetings was at Sheridan Assembly and then we went to the Skyline East uh, as, a, as a hotel there. I think it's an office building now. And uh, so we, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in charge of camp meeting and so I'm down in the hall helping my guys set up video equipment, pulling cables and doing all kinds of stuff. And at that time, one of, our, one of our board members, one of our businessmen, it was one of our board members of Kenneth Hagin Ministries, he was there and he, he, he walked in, he looked around, he came up to me and he said, what are, you, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm helping them set up. And he asked me a question that I have. He said, is, that, is this your job? I said, well, no, but I'm trying to help these guys. He said, listen, why don't you go do your job? Because, see, I should have been out over looking, walking around, checking on other things and everything. And he said, if these guys can't do it, get rid of them and get some that can. Now, he was a businessman, and he, had a, he, had, he was a developer, a developer. In fact, he, he, didn't, he could go down and get a large loan at the bank just on his signature. He didn't even have to have any collateral. And I began to realize his success was the fact that he, he had this large corporation that he's overseeing, but his success was that he didn't, wasn't trying to do it Check, do it himself. He had people underneath him. He delegated it out. You know, sometimes people try to do it all their self. Even in your, in every, in your home. Sometimes you, you know, and then sometimes we create, a, we create stress because we wait to the last minute. You know, I... 
I'm called the senior pastor, I guess, but hey, I got, I got these guys underneath here that I delegate stuff to. We, I mean, you know, we got, we got the church, we got the school, we got the Kenneth Hagin Ministries, we got Faith Library Publications, we got the television, uh, we got radio. Hey, 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 no way I could do all that. Now, I over, I'm up here, but I got people underneath. Let me understand what I'm trying to say to you. Trying to, and then sometimes people try to do too much at once, and it'll cause stress. You know, you need to you need to learn to just take it one one job at a, one step at a time. And then many times people are trying to do things above their knowledge level, and this will cause you stress. <laughs> Instead of going and getting a, somebody that's got the knowledge, a professional, try to do it yourself, mess up more, and then it causes all kinds of problems. You know, figuring out the best way to do things will help us live above stress. Come on. You know, the truth is we have stress in all kinds of situations, but we can change that by the way we handle it. Okay? One person said, it's not the stress that kills us, it's our reaction to it. William James, an American psychologist, said, the greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one's thoughts over another. Taking control of your thought life will help you live above stress. We have to guard our thoughts and take control of our thinking if we're going to live stress-free, okay? I, you know, on Wednesday night, I just like to give you, I like to give you life lessons. This is, this is what I would call a life lesson, okay? You know, uh, let's look at some things here that we could focus on that can help us in our in living above stress. Now begin to think God thoughts. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Sometimes we're thinking about what might happen tomorrow and we haven't even finished today yet. That'll put a lot of stress on you. We'll talk about that in a minute. That was the New King James. In Isaiah and NLT says, Isaiah 27, you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all those thoughts are, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. And then 1 John 4, 16 says, we know how much God loves us and we put our trust in his love. God's love and all who live in love live in God and God lives in them. Stress can't rule over us when we're continually thinking. When the stress comes, we think God thoughts from the word of God. Instead of, oh, what are we going to do? Oh, this might happen. This might happen. And understanding, realizing that God loves you. He does not want you to fear. He does not want you to worry. He wants you to be stress-free. He wants you to stay calm. And not stressed out. We, we have to stand against the things that bring fear and worry and stress. You know, how, how does that, being confident that God will take care of you and me and all of us in any situation relieves stress. I would get completely stressed out if I didn't have all the people that, that help me. And you know why I don't get stressed out? Because I am confident that they can take care of the job. Now, let's turn that around. We have to get the same way about God and be confident that God's going to take care of it, and then we got to quit even thinking about it. 
Y'all off of quiet. Y'all gone home? Anybody getting anything out of this? <laughs> you know, living stress-free life depends on us and what we do. Yes. And we were just talking about this uh, uh, before we came back in after the message. And you have some I have another scripture. You want some more scripture? Yes, okay. I'm, and th this is really good. Yeah. This is really good. And it, this is Philippians 4, 8, and I'm reading this in the New Living Translation. It says... And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of a praise. praise. Yes. And then I, I also like the ninth one. Can I read the ninth yeah, one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. It says, keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. That's it. That's yes. it right there. That's all you have to do to live a stress-free life. Uh, she says to me all the time, I don't, you don't let anything bother <laughs> no, you, it seems like. No, you don't. Like. You don't. Well, I learned it from dad, you know, just let, just let God take care of it. Now the devil will fight you and yes. sometimes you have to fight a battle for a day or two to get over something, but you just keep going. That's right. You know, and, and I was just thinking, you know, a lot of you need somebody to pray for you for something and you can email us at prayer at rhema.org or you can go straight to our homepage, rhema.org, yes. and click on the submit a prayer request and do it that way. We have a prayer group that's praying almost 24 hours a day yes. uh, for prayer requests. So if you ha if you need a need of prayer, yes. you can you can email us at, at prayer at rhema.org, or you can go to uh, rhema.org, our website, <laughs> our homepage, and, and there's a place there that says submit a prayer request, and it will come immediately to go right and it gets sent right to the okay. to the prayer center, yes. and they and they'll be praying over that. And uh, when they come in on email form or or from the the prayer line, like, yeah. like I just said, uh, they send some they send those up and, up, to and up to my office, and yes. it comes across my desk, and I'll I'll pray for it as it comes across my desk. So if you need prayer, there's there we we're here for you. Yes. We want to help you. So let us we can. We can't pray for you if we don't know what you need. That's right. And honey, talking about prayer, I just feel impressed right now. There's someone out there that you've been so stressed out and you've been crying and praying, God, help me, help me. I want to pray for you right now. Father, we thank you yes, for these Jesus. precious ones, these ones that are going through some difficult situations. Yes, I don't know right what now. they are, but you know what they are. Yes, and I thank you, Father, that the peace of God shall surround them right now. Give them peace, Father. Give them peace. Help them to, to understand the situation. Give them wisdom and what they need to do yes, in the situation. And we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, if that if that's you, hey, write us a praise report, okay? Yes. We'd like to get the praise report. If you got a testimony, a praise report, yes. uh, you can you can email us at testimony at rhema.org. We love to hear from you and we like to share them That's right. with others yes. so that that when you share what God's done for you with somebody else, it helps, it helps them. It helps them to be able to believe that God can do it for them. That's right. Well, honey, our offer uh, your dad six CDs on the ABCs of Bible faith. Yes. Awesome, awesome teaching, and that's for a gift of $29 or more. Yeah, and there's nobody that could teach faith that's like right. Dad did. He, he, was, he was called the modern-day prophet of faith. And, yes. And nobody could teach it like he did, and, that, and he's got it right here. You want to get a hold of this. That's this, right. This is good. Well, guess what's coming up? This week, yes. your Kindle the Flame That's Women right. Conference, uh, and I am out of here. You are out of here. You're <laughs> yes. going to go in your manhole somewhere. And yeah, just I'm just going to go in my office. Don't bother me. I'm just going to go in my office, and I'm not going to bother you at all because I know where your focus is, yes. and you'll be back after the conference. That's so. right. That is coming up this Thursday, September the 23rd through the 25th. 
you know, you'll, there's still time to register, so come on in. We're going to have an awesome, awesome time in the Lord, ladies. You'll get refilled, refired, and it's just going to be a great yeah, time. Yeah, just go to Raymond.org slash KTF and sign up, or you can just come on down here yes. and you can sign up at the door. That's okay? right. That's right. All right. Hey, you know, we were talking a while ago about, I mentioned Raymond.org. Hey, there's every, if you want to find out anything about us, you can go to Rhema.org. Yes. You got the Word of Faith magazine there that you can read, or you got daily devotions, there's articles, or you can request a hard copy of the yes. Word of Faith that yes. be delivered to your house. You can you can watch on demand, Rhema Praise, our church services, conferences, and we have the Rhema USA app for iPad, iPhone, Android, Google Play, all of that. And we have live stream, YouTube, Rhema USA, Rhema.tv, Facebook Live. That's right. Uh, We're our, everywhere. And our church <laughs> services, all of that is live streamed Sunday morning, 10 a.m., Sunday evening at 6 p.m., and Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. And the conferences are streamed that are not paid, paid conferences. Yes. If it's a paid conference, then it's not streamed. And also... Our son Craig has a podcast, yes. and it is really it's taken a good off. Podcast. People keep talking about. It. I, I was both of we us were, have been on yes, there, yes. and it's a like he and Tony McKinnon, uh, I, and it, it it's it's in, informative, and it is a lot of fun. That's right. And so go go to Rama, uh, to Craig's podcast. You can find it on any of the any of the any of the things that carry podcasts. That's you can right. find it there. Okay, listen. We want to thank you for helping us to bring hope, hope help, help, and, and healing, healing to, to the, the world. world. There are two ingredients of strong faith. Number one, giving glory to God. What does that mean, giving glory to God? Saying, praise God for His promise. And then number two, being fully persuaded that He is able to do or perform what he promised. In the ABCs of Bible Faith, a six CD series of classic messages, Kenneth E. Hagan explains what faith is, how it comes, and how to make it effective in your life. This word of faith builds into us confidence and assurance. That's the way it works. All six of these classic CDs can be yours today for a gift of only $29 or more. Just call toll-free 888-PRAISE-8 or log in at rhema.org anytime, day or night to order. For Canadian orders, go to rhemacanada.org to order. Do it today. Thank you for watching Rama Praise with Kenneth and Lynette Hagan. Kenneth, Lynette, and Rama Bible Training College are committed to reaching the entire world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and training laborers for the end time harvest. If you have prayer requests or would like more information about Rama, please call, write, or visit rama.org. Thank you for being with us today and for your faithful support. And remember, there is hope help and healing for a hurting world.